Diabetes is a worldwide epidemic. In 2013, there were 382 million people worldwide living with diabetes, and 21 million live births were affected by diabetes during pregnancy. By the end of the said year, 5.1 million people reportedly died from diabetes. That's an equivalent of one person dying every six seconds. By 2035, it is estimated that about 592 million people will have diabetes, and a greater portion of these will be coming from this part of the world. In the Philippines, statistics shows that about 7.2% of Filipinos have diabetes, and 10.6% have pre-diabetes, or about one in every five Filipinos have abnormal glucose levels. A person with diabetes needs a comprehensive and customized care plan in order to manage his condition. This care plan includes nutrition, medication, blood sugar monitoring, exercise, screening for complications, and consultation. Monitoring of complications such as retinopathy, neuropathy, stroke, and heart and kidney disease is also essential. The medical city has decided to take up the challenge and give in to the growing clamor for comprehensive diabetes care by opening the Diabetes Center, which will serve as the delivery platform or the staging ground for a customized and personalized care plan for patients with diabetes. Each patient is unique, so aside from the patient's medical history and current medications, we have to consider the patient's lifestyle, the daily activities, even the eating habits, sleeping patterns, even the family support and uh, financial capabilities of a patient, and most importantly, the patient's desires and preferences in order to come up and customize the perfect treatment for each patient. For me, patient education is one of the most important aspects in treating a diabetic patient. A patient who is knowledgeable about his or her condition, a patient who understands his medication and how to maintain a healthy lifestyle will be able to manage himself well and live a fruitful life even with diabetes. I was diagnosed with gestational diabetes and prior to this one I was living a not so healthy lifestyle. I mostly eat uh, sweets right after like say lunch or dinner or breakfast and I don't get enough exercise. I had to consult the nutrition management team here in Medical City and they had to walk me through on what type of food that I can only eat. My family is very supportive and whatever I eat, they eat. Whatever I drink, they drink. My doctor uh, advised me that if I don't control my food intake, definitely the sugar is going to shoot up. I have this uh, glucometer um, gadget that I have to use every day just to you know, sh um, monitor my blood sugar. My lifestyle today compared to my lifestyle prior to being diagnosed with gestational diabetes is I believe it's much more healthier because of the way I take in my food, the proportion of the food, and the way I monitor my blood sugar. I get a little exercise even though I'm pregnant and I'm loving my life right now. Before I got diagnosed with diabetes, I was actually an overweight, jolly kid. I liked eating a lot. I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes four years ago on my birthday. Well, after the diagnosis, I started to exercise and I, I started to eat healthier meals. I was given lots of modules on what diabetes is. I was also given a diet plan that I had to follow. It was a struggle, but then I managed, I managed through it. The message that I want to give to all those with diabetes is that change is normal and it doesn't necessarily mean that it's a bad thing. All you need is support from your friends, your family, and a good doctor, a positive outlook in life, and you're good to go. I am a type 2 diabetic. I was diagnosed from 12 years ago. I did not feel any symptoms at all. My family was very supportive of the lifestyle change that I have to undertake. I am now with a group of triathletes who are all diabetics. In terms of medical uh, materials that I get from my doctors, 
a lot of discussions uh, would take place whenever we had consultations. I am a very inquisitive person myself, so I ask a lot of questions and I research on the net as well and try and confirm that with my doctor. Being co-responsible in managing my condition really takes a lot of my own personal time. I feel that I'm essentially the one really responsible for my condition. As I look at it before, when I first learned I had diabetes, I uh, look at it as a blessing in disguise. You can still have a good life. You can essentially live a long life, even with the condition. Living a healthy lifestyle yourself is going to infect others in your life, like your immediate family. And that's by far probably the best gift you can give your family. Teach them how to live a healthy lifestyle and allow them to live a long life as well. There is life after diabetes. Diabetes is a lifelong condition and so as a diabetes nurse educator, it is very important that I empower my patients to become co-responsible in the management of their health. I engage my patients by giving them education with regards to nutrition, exercise, and medication. I teach them how to do their monitoring for blood sugar and of course how to inject their insulin. By giving them sufficient knowledge, skills, and encouragement, they are able to manage and control their diabetes.